Hello, welcome back to The Captivating Christian. I am your host, Christopher Thaddeus Ian, and today we're on another special segment of The History Of. Now, today we're going to be talking about the intricate history of one Christian entertainment icon, Hermie the Caterpillar, the main star of the animated series of Christian videos known as Hermie and Friends. The story of Hermie begins with a Christian author named Max Lechudo. The man was a Baptist preacher in Texas who also became a writer. He began publishing books in 1985 and continued since. He's also had involvement with several big films over the years, like um, some movie called uh, The Christmas Candle and uh, another one called The Trump Prophecy. <coughs> But anyway, he eventually created his own franchise with Hermie the Caterpillar. In 2003, the Christian video market was hit with a half an hour special called Hermie the Common Caterpillar. The short was able to get some big name voice acting legends such as Tim Conway and Don Knotts for the main roles of Hermie and Wormie. The special was meant to tell you about how even if you feel inadequate, just know that God has a bigger plan for you. You just have to keep moving forward. The special was sold as a DVD along with a picture book version to go with it, something that continued throughout the Hermie franchise. A whole year after the original special, Lechudo decided to turn Hermie into a series of straight-to-video Christian episodes, no dissimilar to things like Veggie Tales or Bible Man, along with the book adaptations often sold alongside the tapes. These videos lasted from 2004 to 2010 and introduced a whole new cast of characters including a fly, played by a woman who was on uh, The Carol Burnett Show, a mother insect, played by a woman who was, uh, uh, who's related to Walter Disney, a spider, played by Disney's own Taj Maori, an insect band named The Watcher Beatles, played by the Christian rock group Third Day, two cockroach siblings named Iggy Azalea and Ziggy Stardust, played by the comedy show hosts Ricky and Bubba, a praying mantis that, ironically, doesn't know how to pray, played by Richard Kind. And they even got, of all people, Judge Reinhold to show up. Now, clearly we must address the animation. Thankfully, it is not on the same level of Gaither's Pond, Oh, thank lord it is not on that level. But at the same time, it is also not really as good as VeggieTales. If anything, it's about the same level of VeggieTales' mid-period. Animation that may not be the best, but you're not really there for the visuals. You're more there for the spiritual well-being and life lessons. Lastly, I think we must address the controversy. Yes, I know every college campus across America has had this discussion, but we need to bring it up here. There are popular game theories going around as to which came first. Did Hermie come first, or was it a ripoff of an ant's life, or was that a ripoff of Bugs with a Z because the Z makes it sound cool? Did any of these go on to inspire Plan B or its prequel B movie? Did any of these inspire the communist propaganda that was the ant bully? And so once again, I hope you found this video very educational in the history of Hermie the Caterpillar and the Hermie and Friends oeuvre, as it were. Uh, next time on The Captivating Christian, we're going to be talking about more Christian media and entertainment that the Christian demographic out there will definitely enjoy. Next time on The Captivating Christian, may Jesus be with you.